running, brake, running, brake. Okay, stop. So you see that light now stays on about 50%. All right, we're working on the Tahoe again today. It's 2012 Tahoe. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the rear Escalade lights and third brake light. Um, so, I ordered a, this is the third brake light and smoked. The full center one. Um, only thing that's gonna be different about this from everybody else's video is, uh, I'm gonna try and set this up as a running light because right now this only comes on if uh if you hit the brake pedal so you would have the running lights which are coming they're not here yet the running lights have like a uh, dim mode and a high mode um so when you hit high you press the brake pedal you know it shows a brake light just this only comes on on high so i'm gonna try and do a dim mode setup so we have dim and high on all three lights all right real quick gonna do a demonstration there's running lights See the top one's not lit up let's run Right there. I need to do a sink break too. All right, so all we're doing changes. We pulled out bolt there, uh, T25, 10 mil there. It'd be T25, 10 mil, T25. So all you do, back that out. Let's see, that's why I use this T25, Torx 25 screwdriver from SK, and 10 mil socket. Take those two nuts off. And then I think that whole back glass piece should pull out. Yeah, just like that. I'm gonna unclip that plug right there and uh, stick a new one on. We'll be good to go. All right, there we go. Got bolted. Got put those two 10 mil bolts in. There and there. Gonna put the. Gonna figure out different hardware for that, but I figure we'll test it real quick. Super easy install. I mean, this was five, a five minute job. I think it looks way better. Looks like a spoiler almost. Match the tin windows really nice. Um, all right, I'll set you up here and uh, step on the brakes, see what happens. Uh, I'm working on trying to do that dual uh, power third brake light in the Tahoe. So I ordered this brake light driver from Osram. So this is what it comes like. Um, what we're gonna do is uh, the back glass open. And we're gonna splice this into this wiring harness right here. The only thing this goes to is the third brake light. So we're not messing with the other brake lights. I think we're gonna try and put this right here and run a trigger wire from there all the way down the inside of the tailgate. And uh, actually we could probably go inside of this pillar. So I pull this off to put the Escalade light in. So actually we'll just go up through there. All right, so you wanna start, I cut the wire in the middle. Make sure you give yourself enough room to solder and splice on both ends. That way if it doesn't work, you can put it back together. And cover it in a factory like uh setting so i spliced both of them or i'm sorry stripped both of them and took off this tape it's got tape and this gray terrible insulated sticky mess on it strip that back enough to work with and then we're going to strip these wires and set up some test leads okay so i got this set up 
um, we have uh, on the light side, we have white going into black and we have red going into blue. These are just temporary, I'm gonna make it look much better. So that's the right side of the driver, the output side, red to blue, white to black. The input side, we have blue to blue. We have black to black. Um, uh, blue is our positive trigger light, which means uh, when this brake light, this is originally a brake light, so when this gets power, this should have full power to the light and act as a brake light. When it's not at full power, it should be at constant power, which is red. Okay, we're going to run red to the running light circuit. To demonstrate that, I have test leads going to red. Make sure there's a fuse in there. It messed with me for a minute because there was no fuse in there. Um, <clears throat> I then went off the trailer hitch. Uh, just to get a running light circuit. So you can see running lights are on. Uh, green test lead is going to the brown stripe or brown wire on a, on a standard four pin trailer um, output. That goes into the red driver feed right there. And if you look now, you can see the light is on but dim. If I click, there's a button right here. If I click this button, I don't know if you can hear it. Click, click, click. That changes the brightness from like 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 percent brightness. So what I'm gonna do is uh, click that and let you see. This will be the running light brightness. I don't know if you can see that brightness. My other hand's on the driver. I'm gonna click the button. Oh, I can't find it. Right, click ready click click so that's 10 20 30 40 okay so I was off 10 uh, 20 30 40 50 percent if I were then to hit the brake light which will uh I guess I can uh, it's gonna be hard to show I'll figure out a way to hit the brake light and show you guys, but I think this is going to work. So uh, let me rig up a way to, to test the brake light and uh, I'll show you this again. All right, give me a sec. Okay, we're back. Now, this is for demonstration purposes only. What we're going to do is we're going to feed 12 volts to the blue wire, which is the brake light trigger. When this, this is only for demonstration, I have it hooked up to a test lead. You will hook the blue wire up to this blue wire coming out of the truck, okay? That way when you hit the brake pedal of the truck, uh, you get your 12 volts from there But I want to show you how the dimmer works um, So what we're gonna do is take this test lead and touch it to this already has 12 volts, right? This is our running light. This doesn't matter. It's just 12 volts. So this will be 12 volts on 12 volts off so running break running break running break and then you should be able to Say it's daytime, you don't have the running lights hooked up, should be able to just go break, break, and get power that way. Uh, I hope that made sense. Um, I'm going to set this up so you can see, because the most important part about this is the dimmer, so you have 50%. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to match the dimmer to the Escalade uh, side lights. That way the brightness is very similar across all three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's running right now. I'll put the camera up top and it's going to be running, running light on, and I'm just going to touch this to this simulating brake light, okay? Just give me a sec here. Alright, so that's running light. Ready? Brake. Oh, that's me messing it up. Brake. Running. Running. Brake. It's me flashing the brake light. It's kind of hard to see because this is on the highest, brightest setting. So what I'm going to do is uh, click the button on the driver. I'm going to lower the brightness down if I can find the driver. Uh, there. Now it's dimmest setting. 
I'm gonna click it again so you can see full power brake light. There you go, big difference. So dim, running, full power brake. So now, all we have to do is tie this, uh, the blue, like I said, the blue is gonna go up to there. The red lead is gonna go to um, the brake light circuit on, uh, I'm sorry, no, blue's gonna go up there, that's the brake light circuit. Red is gonna be the running light circuit from the new tail lights when we get the new tail lights. But uh, I think it's gonna work really well. Should be pretty cool. I'll do a night video and then I'll do another video and I'll get the Cadillac Escalade lights on the side. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, we soldered, use these solder connectors. Like I said, black to black, light blue from the truck to blue. Red needs run to the uh, running lights. That's what this green goes down to the running lights. We're gonna run it into when we get the Escalade lights. They'll go all the way up. We'll tap into that. This side, like I said, blue to red and black to white. And this is a little driver. I'm going to clean up this wiring, uh, do some tape, and find a spot to mount it. Actually, I might just tuck it back in there. All right, so I got all the wiring for the uh, driver itself I'll put away. Use some Tesla tape. Test to tape the leads and the connections so you barely can tell anything's there. And then there's a clip back there. I ran a single zip tie, wrap the wiring in the module there, and you can still click that button if you had to. Uh, I don't know if it holds its memory or how that works. We'll have to play around with it. Um, this wire is going to run down behind this tray, I think. I, I'm not sure. I'll have to find a way to route this wire. I'm going to leave it fused in case it gets caught in the hinge or something. Um, but we're gonna... All right, so what I do is I took a red wire, spliced it in here, um, ran it in loom, tucked it behind that panel. Um, I might have to figure out a way to get this to zip tie down or something. So it sits like that. Ran it behind that panel, and we're down at the tail light. Okay, so all I did was tap my red wire into this brown wire which is the tail light um we're gonna put this back up i just electrical taped it it's gonna be on there for like three days until i get the other lights in so not too worried about it I'm gonna fix it did my harness all wrapped up in tesla tape it'll look nice and not scratch paint not get shitty and uh we'll plug it all in see how it goes okay so you can see she's hitting the brake light right now running brake Running, brake. Okay, stop. So you see that light now stays on about 50%. It matches the stock tail lights. So I've got the other lights on, but go ahead and hit it. Brake. And the light's up full once you touch the brake. So yeah, pretty easy mod.